Hi all, in this video I'm going to show you what I found to be the best settings for the Pimax Crystal Super and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So I've had these now for about four weeks and I've spent the last two weeks fine tuning to get the optimum clarity, uh, but not only clarity but also performance as well. So what I'll do, I'll jump onto the computer and I'll show you my settings and I'll show you how I've managed to achieve that balance between both performance and the clarity that this headset offers. This literally has taken my flight simula simulation experience to the next level. It's absolutely incredible um, what this headset can do in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Okay, so let's jump on. I'll show you my settings uh, that you can follow along, set them up yourself because it's not easy and this has taken me two weeks to get it right. Okay, so let's jump in and I'll show you how I've set up my settings to get the most out of the Super. Uh, in terms of clarity and performance for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So before I do that, I just wanted to show you my system. So you can see here that I have an RTX 5090. Uh, if you have a 40 series card, then you are going to need to adjust these settings. So don't think just because I have a 5090, I can go into Microsoft Flight Simulator and set everything at ultra. It really will hammer the performance. Uh, so you have to fine tune it. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do here. You can also see my processor there. Uh, and the amount of RAM that I have as well. So let me drag that out of the way. So I'm now into the Pimax uh, Crystal or the Pimax Play client here. So the first thing to do is to click on settings and ensure you have the current version. So just click the check updates there. You can see there that I'm on the latest version. But just make sure you have that up to date. The next thing to do is bottom left, go down to Pimax Crystal Super, go to device settings and under device, going to show you what settings I have. So leave the room lighting frequency here at 50 hertz, but ensure that you have the refresh rate at 90 hertz. No 72 hertz upscale or 72 must be on the 90. I've reduced my brightness just ever so slightly. Um, that's perfect. That That's you're going to be your preference, but you could go a little bit more than that if you're finding the cockpit a little bit too bright you can just reduce that down but this is the glory of the super it is crystal clear super bright um, lenses in there as well so to take that right down is not going to give you that true life uh, performance and that true true life visuals there so I've just nudged it down slightly but that's a personal preference okay if we come down now you can see I've got eye tracking on one that I would 100% have turned off is the auto IPD it doesn't do a great job uh, when it measures my IPD it gets it completely out so what I would do is set that manually so you just type that in here, enter the target IPD and the motors, you'll hear the motors in the headset adjusting um, so that you get uh, the, the perfect view in terms of the overlap. So um, I've got 65 here, 65.2. If you don't know what your IPD is, there are apps for your smartphone that you can use. You put a credit card on your forehead and it will measure the gap and give you the IPD value. So enter that there. Uh, and set that um, rather than using the auto adjustment. So if we scroll down, nothing else to change here. So under games here, you can see from the drop down, I have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, and I have this ticked, enable program settings, and that will give me then these settings here. One thing to remember, do start the app, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, from within your Pimax Play client so that these the settings that we're going to set now will apply to that particular launch of the game. So FOV, leave it as normal. Uh, in terms of image quality, so because I have the 5090, I've reduced mine down to 0.94. Uh, you can play with this a little bit more either side of that, but for me, this has given me uh, really crystal clear clarity whilst maintaining performance. And I'll show you some of the settings that I have set in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well no GPU upscaling and no sharpness, have those set on zero. Uh, coming down, quad views, so have quad views turned off. Um, now this might sound counterproductive because of the foveated rendering is gonna help with that performance. However, since update two of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, it's handled in the app, so keep that turned off. No uh, central priority rendering either, smart smoothing and frame rates, everything off. I've got hidden area mask on um, and I don't notice anything on the periphery of my vision but if you do start noticing uh, 
graphics issues on the periphery right on the periphery there then have this hidden area mask turned off but for me it's going to help slightly with the performance so I leave that turned on everything else is just standard there uh, general make sure that you have the Pimax Open XR selected here uh, and that is pretty much it nothing changed on the advanced tab so that is the the Pimax Crystal uh, play app set now so I'm just going to close that down so when you go to launch this if you go into my assets you can see here that you have a start button so always launch your flight simulator from here so those settings apply okay so the next thing we're going to do is launch uh, an app called DLSS Swapper I'll put a link in the description below the video where you can download it and we're going to click on this icon here at the top and we're going to go to library so you can see here over on the right hand side you have download latest ensure you click the download latest click OK it says there's no new downloads there hit the refresh button as well just to make sure that there's nothing new so you can see here that I have version 310.4 for the DLSS and the frame generation is the same the 310.4 and what we're going to do now then is go over to our games icon we're going to click Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and then what we're going to do under DLSS is we're going to select the latest uh, version of DLSS so that is going to be 310.4 so I select I hit swap and then I go down to the frame generation and do the same and swap and just ensure here that you have the FSR selected to the latest as well and that is it and with your preset just make sure you're on the latest preset which is preset K there so I'm going to close that so that's that bit done so the next thing we now need to do is just change a couple of settings uh, in the NVIDIA app here so I've just gone over to graphics here selected Microsoft Flight Simulator scrolled all the way down until I see this DLSS override and then what I'm going to do is just go in and change this to latest with the preset K as the super resolution there okay and then the only other setting that I make sure is on is your power management mode just ensure that that is set to prefer maximum performance and then you are good to go so once you've done that we are now ready to go into Microsoft Flight Simulator and I will show you the settings in there okay so I've launched Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 from the Pimax Play client so uh, the first thing we're going to do is click the cog at the top here top right in order to change the settings and I'll show you my settings so what I do uh, first of all under the general tab is I just reduce down my monitor to low end and I just turn any anti-aliasing off as well because I want my graphics card my 5090 to be giving everything it has to the Pimax Super and not uh, doing any processing for my monitor which I won't be seeing because I will have the headset on I don't think it saves a huge amount but that's just something that I like to do so the next thing is to click on VR um, so I'm not going to go through every single setting you can pause the screen at any time pause the the video so that you can see my settings but I'll just go through some of the important ones so exposure compensation I've just nudged that down uh, 0.1 but that is pers personal preference again the one that you must have on is the the NVIDIA DLSS super resolution so that's the whole point of us setting those settings before we got into the flight simulator so we want it to use uh, that mode for displaying the graphics you also have this choice here of your super resolution um, so I have it set on DLAA and for me that that anti-aliasing for me just works really really nicely if you are still suffering or you have a slightly uh, lower tier graphics card then try to set this onto performance or balanced so balanced I've really get a good performance on as well um, but I do like to have it on the DLAA so remember these lenses are 3840 by 3840 in each eye massive resolution um, I've got the 50 PPD so I've got a hundred and 20 degrees field of view and for me the DLAA just gives that really crisp lines around the wings for example so you have no blurring of the wings so 
uh, foveated rendering must be on we didn't turn it on in the Pimax play because that since update 2 is now handled in the the, slot, the flight simulator itself uh, so best to have it switched on there leave the foveated rendering scale at 45 uh, fidelity I leave at 100 max frame rate I don't have on some people have that turned on to 90 uh, double the um, uh, sorry 45 some people have that turned on to 45 which is half of the refresh rate um, of the 90 Hertz but I leave that off and it seems to make no difference to me projection mode off world scale I have on just a hundred um, and your Nvidia reflex low latency is on so now let me go into the custom rendering and you, this may surprise you with a 1590 you may expect to see everything set on ultra uh, but that's not how you're going to get a performance, especially when you're flying through very built up areas. OK, so in terms of terrain level of detail, um, I have 280. Uh, that seems to just work nicely for me. So I'm not seeing everything redrawing as I'm flying along in the horizon in the distance. This just seems to be the right level. Uh, in terms of caching, terrain pre-caching, I have my set on medium. If you have a really good internet connection, then you'll want to put that up to high. Uh, I have 70 megabits per second, so not a great internet connection here. Um, so I'd love to put that up, but at the moment I have that set on medium. Displacement mapping is turned on, and then you can see my settings here. So because I'm flying at high altitude normally, uh, in 737s then I have the plants and rocks turned to low uh, if you're doing helicopter low level work you may want to up those a little bit as well uh, object level of detail 100 clouds important for me Vol voltrometric clouds is on high um, another one that um, I like to have on high is the maps uh, so maps in your cockpit for me are really important so I have those turned up you can double this number as well there is a registry setting that you can go into to double that uh, if you really want those really really sharp shadows but remember that's going to put additional strain on the processor so 2048 for me seems to work just nicely and if I go through now and just show you some of my other settings here so you can always pause the video at this point if you want to mirror these and again adjust them according to your card according to your GPU okay and that's pretty much it so they're my settings that's what I have set and for me this just gives that really nice balance between super clarity and uh, performance as well so I'm normally flying in a in a, um, a Mark 9 Spitfire which I really love um, and it just honestly the I have a Spitfire pilot who comes around to my house to fly the simulator when he put the goggles on he literally couldn't believe it he comes around and he uses it and he says it's just incredible the level of detail uh, is really really fantastic so let me just pop the plane onto an airport here so that you can see but naturally what you're seeing is a recording of my monitor set on very low resolution but you honestly with the Pimax Super you will be literally blown away by the quality uh, of these lenses and the wide angle as well absolutely incredible um, okay so I hope you found this useful these are my settings uh, with the Pimax Crystal Super and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024